Hello all, this is a tutorial series on IE 3D based design of antennas. My previous tutorial series was on Eagle which you can surf through my YouTube page. This series is dedicated to all those who helped me learn this software. So uh, IE 3D is one of those simulation softwares for analyzing or designing the radiating elements like the, those of specially antennas apart from this uh, these softwares are also used to characterize the transmission lines uh, in PCB for 50 ohm impedance matching or 100 ohm of, or whatever it is as per the system requirements so these type of softwares come pretty much handy because if you look at the theoretical design the theoretical mathematical design comes out to be too much iterative and too much lengthy uh, which would not be possible for a very fast design uh, which uh, or uh, for the most part you can say an accurate design in a limited amount of time a mathematical design would involve a good calculation and uh, a good analytical skill or even a good guess skill because in that case you would have to certainly guess some values before going for fabrication so uh, certainly these type of simulation tools helps us to understand that whether uh, the design which has been done by us mathematically uh, does it uh, make really a good design or not so ie 3d is a pretty good software for analyzing such type of systems uh, so uh, in this tutorial series we'll be covering in detail the various types of antennas uh, if we look at the first screen of i3d so i assume that you have already installed the software in your pc or laptop or whatever it is uh, some of the requirements are that uh, you should have a mouse apart from the trackpad in the laptop because uh, you would feel irritated at many times because of the trackpad uh, so I, I personally prefer mouse but again it's your own choice secondly uh, the requirement is uh, RAM good amount of RAM should be present otherwise the simulation may take a lot and lot of time for bigger designs obviously for smaller design no need to have a high amount of RAM yeah and apart from that all those standard things like windows 8 7 or whatever and all those general features remain the same okay now you what you see over here is the new window okay let me close this so i will go to file new now this is the setup window so basically we are setting up the environment setting up the substrate on which we would be working and all those things okay so i3d by default uh, has an infinite ground plane that is as soon as i say save and okay uh, the system opens an environment and that entire environment acts as a ground so that would somewhat simulate an ideal environment or you can say an ideal condition for your design but if you want to do the real-time design you would have to change this ground parameter and you can make this as zero if you do this your design would then become a finite ground plane so for now let me just bring back to 49 okay okay so this is a standard value okay now i3d does not understand fr4 or rt duroid or whatever it is it just understands the dielectric constant uh, the width the loss tangent and all those things so basically it understands the properties and not the name so you should have a good data of the substrate which you are going to use for your design uh, when you go for simulation okay so for now i am considering fr4 substrate so i have taken the screenshot of this one 
so I generally don't like to remember the values so I have kept this as a screenshot so you can see that I am assuming or uh, rather not to say assuming but 1.6 being a standard value of the width of uh, FR4 substrate a dielectric constant of 4.2 a loss tangent of 0 0.008 and this remains the same so let us fill these things into this now if you want to fill this thing you'd have to click this button so this basically means you are going above the ground plane so above the ground plane is obviously the substrate so I am naming the substrate as FR4 as I already told you the thickness is 1.6 dielectric constant being 4.2 loss tangent being 0 0.008 and rest of the parameters remain the same now as soon as I press ok this acts as the three layer now the, the bottom remains the ground the top remains this dielectric and this is something which is by default ok so you don't need to do anything with it ok now regarding the metal anything you make in i3d would be considered as metal which can be seen as a metal strip types so if you see this this is the standard value okay so what changes actually is this one the thickness but for fr4 let us consider it as a 0.002 thickness and these all units are mm so mind that thing uh, rest of the things no need to mess with it you can simply go for ok now you can see that this is the environment and by clicking this circle you can go into the 3d environment ok again by clicking this you can come back to this environment now these all are the various polygons these are the polygons by choice I mean uh, these are the polygons which can be declared as values and it will automatically create whereas these all are the things which, which you can draw it you will understand when you make some complex structures uh, these all are spirals and all those things but uh, I would not be covering these things in my tutorial series because these uh, rather don't come much handy okay now what we require as a basic thing is new save print these all things for file under edit we would be requiring draw select polygon select polygon group vertices so vertices as in points and copy reflect copy rotate copy at angle move objects okay uh, parameters I don't think we would be much requiring because basic parameter we have already set it so suppose uh, I design it with FR4 and afterwards I want to check it with uh, RT Duroid then in that case I can simply go to parameter and change these values and set ok in that case the system would behave accordingly uh, now the inputs are basically all those rotations and edges and all those things but again as a basic you don't need these things uh, these drawings and all can be done over here in, in advanced edit uh, the major things which are used are the separate polygons I'll come to it uh, mesh and merge overlapping and twisting polygons so you need to overlap so suppose you are making multiple polygons and you want to overlap one with another one or cut one with other one or something like this so in that case these things will be useful scaling transformation and entity again for various complex structures like T, Y again you don't need to go here they are simply placed as an icon over here that depends completely upon your choice whether you want to come over here and do it or you can simply choose this one regarding ports we'll be coming to it that whether we want vertical ports horizontal ports or ports 3d ports which would behave as an SMA connector or something like that and optimizations and things related to uh, optimizing the design once the design is completed can be done through this optimization tab and these are some
some standard things which are present in all windows based softwares windows help this process in under process simulate and continue simulations are important parameters for this for analyzing your s parameters and bswr z parameters you would be clicking this one for analyzing your 3d pattern you would be clicking this one okay so that's all for the basic window how i 3d looks and how does it behave okay apart from this there are many other softwares like hfss comsol and what not but for 2d designs i generally prefer i 3d and for 3d designs i suggest hfss because hfss is much more user friendly in case of 3d designs that's all for this tutorial in the second tutorial we'll be starting our first design on patch antennas and slowly we'll be moving on to some of the complex structures which can be further modified as per your design requirements uh, be aware that i am not making the designs as per the calculations in my tutorial series because uh, that would take a lot of time and I the main motive of this tutorial series is that you understand how to design various types of antennas and analyze it using i3 that's all for this tutorial I am Nishant uh, the host for this tutorial series thank you for listening